Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to take a look at what's new in Zim version Zim02. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and there it is, right there, up in the carousel. It is the Zim themes. So we click on here, and this is new. Now, Zim's got style, so this is different than style. Style does the CSS type style to things on the canvas, which is quite amazing. As far as I know, we're the only framework that does that. And, but this is themes. And what we realize is that since Zim has its own colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, or purple, I guess that is, and then its own gray scales, lighter, darker, dark, guess, no, dark, er, dark, <laughs> light, and then tin and moon, and there's a whole bunch of the grays as well. Since those are our own variables, if we change those values, all of a sudden, everything that used those colors would have those colors changed. So here's what we mean. The Zim red is not the HTML color quote red. And same with orange, although orange is pretty close. Definitely pink is different. Here, take a look. So now we go HTML, and these are the HTML colors now applied. So we haven't changed the code. All we did was apply a theme, which changes the values of the existing color variables. And note over here as well, um, that has changed on the right-hand side. So there we have that. Uh, here is futuristic looking one. Ooh, we got these colors, this palette from, um, we do a lot of AI art uh, or prompting of AI. And many of the things are, oh, make a future city, <laughs> etc. And so these are, tend to be the colors that the AI art made. Here's an inverted theme. So we've inverted the Zim colors and that's what happens. Here's grayscale. Neon. And there's the Zim colors, and there's the neon colors. Pretty close. 70s. Oh, <laughs> I was going pretty close. Not as neon as I thought they were. <laughs> That's because I turned the lightness down. So there we go. We can be careful here because um, we can also customize it. So let's try this again. We'll apply it. There we go. <laughs> I was going, hmm. Mm. Why did that change on, on us? It was when I went to 70s that I really noticed. So... Uh, I don't know, not the grooviest of 70s, more like mm, station wagon, <laughs> station wagon 70s. And then warm colors. Although you can adjust any of these things uh, that you want. Let's go to the Zim colors right now. And if we wanted darker Zim colors, there we go, apply. Now all these colors become just darker, the whole thing. Oh, but that includes the gray. So it, the whole thing looks like it's dimmed. If we exclude right here, exclude the grays and apply. Now we can really tell that these colors are indeed darker. <laughs> it's funny when everything went dark, they all still look darker. Um, so anyway, there's darker versions. Here are some lighter versions. And apply and we're excluding the gray. So those are Zim colors lightened up. And what that means is the buttons and things like that also lighten up. We can reverse it and just uh, lighten the grays. So now the grays are all kind of washed out in light, but the main colors have not have not changed. Interesting, huh? We can also tint things. So if we tint it all towards a red, okay, and apply. Oh, this is how much tint. So right now it's a zero tint, 0 0.2 tint, and apply. Now it's only tinting the the grays because we've excluded the colors. So if we bring this up even more, apply. You can see that those grays are definitely tinted red. Let's do the colors too, though. Apply. And uh, we'll reduce that down, not make it as light. Uh, up there. Apply. And then we get everything kind of looking like it's been red adjusted. Here's less of a red adjust on that. More practical, perhaps. <clears throat> Very red. Apply. <laughs> Okay, no red, apply. Like we can still see that stuff. All right, you get it? Um, I think that's really cool. Now there's some things to watch out. One is if you set the style, then it will change everything from that point on to those colors. It won't adjust any of the colors beforehand. 
But if you apply the colors, then it refreshes the page and applies the new theme. So every time we either hit apply here or indeed I jump to a different one, it has actually refreshed the whole page so that all these things can have that theme applied. Let's go in and take a look at some code. I'll drop this down. Now this is a very complicated example because we've got different themes across the top and we've got this panel right here with sliders to apply. So it's actually quite a nice example of a web app made in Zim. So you're welcome to look at it that way. However, it makes it a little bit difficult to see what's going on in here. Um, just to be easier, all you have to do is use theme.set. So theme.setZim, and if I'm, well, that would be the normal theme if I went uh, neon here, neon, and then said new circle, a red, comma, oh, sorry, this is the dimensions, uh, 100, comma, red, dot center. Now we would have a neon colored red circle. It. So everything made after the theme will get that. <clears throat> but if I set the theme afterwards, then this is a Zim red circle, followed by anything else would be neon. Conversely, if you say apply like that, apply, theme.apply, then it would make the circle and then refresh the whole page and the circle then would be made red, but it would also include a refresh on that. So uh, if you don't want to refresh the page, you could always say new circle. So you would say const circle is equal to that. And it would be a Zim red. We would apply a neon theme. Oh, actually, if we don't want to refresh the page, we would set a neon theme, but then we would have to say circle dot color is equal to red. And now since we've applied the red after we've set the theme, that would turn this circle. So it can be, it would turn the circle uh, neon red. So it can be done. You can make a whole bunch of stuff and then have somebody choose from a picker what theme they want to see. And instead of refreshing the page, you can go back, you can set the theme and go back and apply every color to, or you know, well, apply it this way manually. Right? Or you can have them set. So what we have, have them set, um, up, sorry, apply the theme. So that's what we've done down below here is they're choosing the various themes here with the tabs. And every time we do a tab, we're applying the theme. So when we tap on the tab, we apply theme. And apply theme is down here somewhere probably. Uh, there it is. So we have to apply the theme, but we also have to take a look at the sliders, values, and the checkboxes. So that's what that's doing. And then it's applying the theme. Here are some of the parameters. What is the name of the theme? What is the lighten ratio? So how much are we lighting it? What color is it? What is the tint ratio? And is there any uh, that we would want to exclude? So those are the parameters for apply. And they are also the parameters for set. So that's how it works. I mean, we don't need to go through all of the other stuff here, uh, but um, that's how setting the theme or applying the theme works. Meanwhile, we better come up here and I suppose we'll just undo all this stuff. So I'll lose track. Do, 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 do. Did I really type all that? Wow, look at that. This has been a, a bubbling and we've been taking a look at themes. Do you like those? So where'd they go? Oh, they're over here. Kind of neat. Uh, I don't know if they'll be handy for you. I, uh, it's sort of half and half. I envisage it mostly as you're building, just to recognize that you don't always have to use Zim colors. That's been kind of a bit of an issue. A lot of people building just tend to use the Zim colors. Rather, you know, they're nice and easy. I, I like them. They're, <laughs> they're Zim, <laughs> so that's great. Don't mind. It's an interesting marketing ploy uh, to a certain degree to have Zim colors out there. But on the other hand, not everybody likes the Zim colors and you, you're welcome to choose your own colors. So now this is showing you, hey, yeah, go ahead, use, use a different 
different colors um, <laughs> if you so desire. Cool, huh? I like it. Or even grayscales, who knows? <clears throat> All the best. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Blah, 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 and that is definitely bubbling. By the way, the code to do that was hardly any. It's just uh, a few listings, uh, a few lookup tables on colors. But don't think that um, it's some big colossal uh, thing that we just did there. There's um, the refreshing using local storage. Uh, was a bit tricky and conceptually kind of interesting to figure out. But in general, it's a very small amount of code to make the theme work despite such a grand concept. <laughs> overreaching concept. <laughs> Neat. All right. Uh, come visit us at zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack. We'd love to hear from you there. Let us know what you think of themes. Cheers. <laughs>